When Tyus Battle walked off the floor following Syracuse's Sweet 16 loss to Duke, SU fans weren't sure if they'd see him around for his junior season. After waiting to the last minute, on the day of the NBA draft entry deadline, Battle decided to come back, leading a group of five returning starters who have big dreams for the 2018-19 season. So Tyus, you're, you're back here for your senior season. And a few months ago, you know, we weren't sure about that. You were going through that NBA draft process. What do you say you really learned about yourself as a player and as a person as, as you were doing that? I mean, uh, it was definitely a long process, uh, but I enjoyed the whole entire thing. I mean, uh, I got a glimpse of the professional side of things. And as a collegiate athlete, you really don't see those things. So it was a good, good opportunity for me to see that during that process. Can you take me back to that moment where you knew, no, I'm coming back, I've gone through this. I like what I've seen, but I'm going to come back to Syracuse University for another year. Honestly, it wasn't until like the last couple of days of uh, the deadline uh, where I decided I'm coming back. Um, it was more so just talking to, to my family and um, I mean, it was a hard decision. I mean, it's, it's a life decision, honestly, and it's, it's the second life decision I had to make and the first one was coming to Syracuse. So uh, this was a big life decision for me, but I'm happy I'm back and I'm uh, going to make the most of it. You're taking 19 credits this semester, 18 credits next semester. You you are a student athlete. Yeah, yeah. So how do you find the time? I mean, uh, it's just balance. I mean, my parents have done an amazing job uh, since I was in middle school, helping me balance basketball uh, and life outside of basketball off the court. You're not supposed to have all those 8 a.m. classes yeah. when you're a junior, yeah, you know, no. but you're, you're willing to do it. Yeah, I'm taking four 8 a.m. classes right now. Uh, I get done with school at 3.20 every day. Uh, so it's definitely a grind on and off the court right now. Tell me about those freshmen a little bit, you know. Tell me about how they're, they're fitting in and what you expect from them this upcoming season. Oh, I mean, Buddy can really shoot it, like really shoot it. Um, Jen's a really good point guard, finishes really well around the rim. Um, Rob, he's athletic, does everything, gets rebounds, um, can shoot it, um, very athletic. And Elijah transferred in, he can really shoot it, really score, has a high basketball IQ. So, uh, but those added guys, uh, it should help us a lot on the offensive side. How is your relationship with Coach Behan? Oh, I mean, uh, well me personally, it's an honor just playing for a Hall of Fame coach. I mean, uh, growing up, watching college basketball, you dream of things like this and just have the opportunity to play for someone who has so much basketball knowledge is, is pretty special. So what is this team capable of in the upcoming um, season? I mean, our, our ceiling, I, I don't see a stop on our ceiling right now. I mean, we could be really, really good. I mean, we have all five stars back from last year and um, combining that with the incoming guys, the freshmen, uh, the transfers that we have coming in, uh, I think that should fill the gap we had offensively. And our, 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 we always pride ourselves on, our, on the defensive end, so our defense will always be there. Um, so we're, I think we're looking like a pretty complete team right now. Is there anything that Syracuse fans should know about you that they don't, that you'd like them to? Man, um, I'm a pretty laid back guy. I mean, uh, I love playing video games, love movies, horror movies. I'm a big horror movie guy, so. Uh, I'm just an average, average person, man. Cool. Thanks, Tyus. I think that's Thank all you. for you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, good luck.